I am in love with First Berserker Kazan. It's not perfect and it can use some tweaking, which I'll talk about, but it's safe to say that this game is going to be the next big Souls-like for me to enjoy. Let's talk about the good things first, all right? And we're gonna start with the parry. This game is very parry heavy, and because stamina is so crucial in this game, and we'll talk about that in a bit too, it highlights the parry as a positive because the parry makes the encounters with the enemies more doable and acts in our favor and really gives us an advantage if we get good at it. Being that I had just come off Timesia, another Souls-like that was very parry heavy, I felt comfortable and I actually really wanted to parry in First Berserker, and it just felt really satisfying to do it, from the sound effects to the visuals, and most of all, just how hard-earned they feel. I seriously felt that all of my kills in this demo were so hard-earned that I had to work my butt off to get them, especially when it came to the bigger enemies such as these. And a huge part of it is because of the parry system and just how good I had to get at it. Timesia was a fast and aggressive Souls-like, so it was a bit of a shift to jumping into this game right after because I had to slow things down and really just use every ounce of my stamina to make a good decision and get good with a much heavier character. That may sound like a negative, and at first I thought it was, but the more I settled down, I got very comfortable with this playstyle, and I was very addicted to getting better at it. And that's what I feel is a huge plus for Souls-like games. If I wanna get better, and I feel that I am through trial and error, you're gonna have me hooked to keep playing. Because not only is the combat satisfying in this game, but the gameplay loop, the level design, and the most important Souls-like aspects I feel are done very well. The bonfire placements, the enemy placements, the shortcuts, as well as the loot drops and the chests were all shown very well in this beta. I do have one nitpick with the chests because there is a few of them that I opened and I got armor that I already had. But other than that, I really loved how much I was rewarded by just simply progressing through this beta. Enemy variety was also top notch. We had everything from weaker bow and arrow enemies to big strong enemies that dropped really good loot, as well as the middle of the pack soldiers in between. And not to mention bats. So I felt the enemies had enough variety to feel like they were meticulously placed in order to give a balanced challenge. I really did feel that as I was playing. And at first glance, it feels that these enemies have too much health, but the more I settled in and just got better, the more I felt comfortable with the amount of health that they had. However, the bosses, I do feel, need their health tweaked a bit. If these bosses are indeed the first bosses of the game, especially, they need less health. Because I felt the need to farm a bit before even beating the first boss of the beta. So that stuck out to me as, okay, this probably needs some nerfing. The boss itself I thought was great. It tested my parry skills, which I already welcomed, and I felt myself getting better at each attempt. And the enemies and bosses are very much pattern oriented and requires you to memorize them. The visual cues are very important and it's really just about patience and waiting for those openings, which is the traditional Souls-like experience that I'm used to. So I never felt like these bosses were impossible, it just felt that they maybe need a bit less health. If this game is indeed a farm necessary game and that's what the devs are going for, then they're doing a good job because I had to farm. But if it's not, and this becomes a problem for the casual Souls-like lover, then they might need to take the criticism and go ahead and tweak the boss's health a bit. But beyond that negative, I have nothing but positives on the bosses themselves. They have great designs and they pose really good challenges that I wanted to master. When it came to pairing the first boss especially, I really wanted to get it down and that's a good sign. The art style in this game is also a huge plus. I love it so much. I love the main character design as well as the areas. And during my playthrough, I saw a lot of snow. <laughs> it was very crunchy as I walked through it. I love that. So it has this realism aspect to it when it came to the sound effects, but the art style takes us into this fantasy anime style of graphics. And these are some graphics that will age much more nicely, which is always a plus too. 
The sound effects for the combat is also very good and satisfying. I was just very much impressed with the audio in this game. And the game overall felt polished in multiple ways, the audio included. I had no glitches, no bad frame rates, nothing crazy, and so that was awesome. Now for the negatives. I touched on it already when it came to the boss's health. I do feel that needs to be tweaked. I also feel the parry can have a bigger window in terms of recovery. So after missing the first parry of a combo, I really felt it was almost impossible to recover and then land the second and third and the ones that followed. Often my character was just like staggered and even with stamina, I just had a hard time making up for that missed parry. In comparison to Timesia, which I mentioned before, and I know I'm, I'm doing the comparisons here because that's the most recent Souls like I've played, Timesia was way more forgiving in this aspect. And that I feel helped with the flow of the game and it kept me aggressive. I feel this game can use just a bit of that. I'm not saying change it to the aggressive nature of Timesia. I'm just saying tweak it a tad. So that way I have a better chance of landing the consecutive parries after missing the one before them. It also feels like I have to parry a tad bit sooner than what feels natural. As if the window is sooner than later. And I got used to it, so if this doesn't change, I know I can handle it. But I would prefer if the window was just a tad bit later and feels more one-to-one -one with the attack of the enemy. Because during this beta, I felt I had to anticipate it more so and then parry faster than usual. The exhausted state of my character is also a bit too long. This is when I'm completely out of stamina and then I'm hit by the enemy and my character just stands there breathing really hard and I can't move, right? And it's just, to me, in my opinion, a second too long. I'm okay with the exhausted state existing. I think the devs just need to tighten it up a bit and make it shorter. Because my character getting exhausted like this happens and for this long, it feels just like a stamina struggle the entire time. Leveling up stats to help the stamina is very important and I'm cool with that but it definitely feels like stamina is by far the biggest downfall of my character. Even when I do land the parries, I just feel like I'm constantly struggling for stamina and to recover it. So more possible tweaks on the stamina could be needed, uh, but again, if it remains similar or the same, I feel I can handle it. It just takes practice, of course, but I do feel like they could make it perfect because it's close to being there for me. This is definitely going to be the next major Souls-like that I obsess over. I just know that they could make me obsess more. So that's my message to the devs. Make me more obsessed and you're close to doing that. I think a few tweaks and it'll be perfect. I especially want to circle back and talk about the gameplay loop of this game. It is there. It is, it is awesome. I think they got a very special game cooking right here and it's very polished for a beta. I have to say that. So I wanted to reiterate that, let you guys know it was a good time. I wish I had more time with it. It was kind of a bad weekend to, to play it for me, but I got as much time as I could and I want more. So I can't wait to play more of this game when it's out. I'll definitely be covering this, so stay tuned. I'm going to be all over this game, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. If you've played the beta or you haven't yet, if you're anticipating this game or not, definitely let me know, and I will catch you guys in my next video, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye. If you enjoyed this video and want more, definitely subscribe to the channel. I cover all things Souls-like, and it's the love of my life when it comes to gaming, so definitely subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.